We've heard doctors say it many times. We're in a race to get as many people vaccinated as possible, trying to beat the spread of those more contagious COVID variants. Those variants are all present in Wisconsin, and they're affecting more children than the original strain. Our Amanda Quintana is live at the Alliant Energy Center with more on a group that plays a key role in this race. Amanda? Yes, that group is teenagers, 16 and 17 year olds. Now, it's a little more difficult to find a vaccine appointment for that age group because they can only get the Pfizer vaccine. But a lot of vaccinators, like here at the Alliant Energy Center, public health has gotten a lot of Johnson & Johnson, but not a lot of Pfizer. The message, if your teen needs a shot, is be persistent. I get the feeling that there's a lot of kids that really want to get this vaccine and really want to get back to as normal of, uh, of a, a school situation as possible. Dr. William Harmon isn't just saying that. His 16 and 17 year old sons wanted a vaccine so much, they stood in line for hours yesterday. Today, they think that they're on the, the, the path to getting back to a normal life, which is, that that's what we want for them. High schoolers like Dr. Hartman's sons play a huge role in the race against the variants. There are a handful of variants that are more contagious than the original coronavirus. The UK variant seems to especially Especially spread more quickly among kids. Proms are coming up, graduations. Vaccinating this this uh, age group is, is very important uh, so that we can stay ahead of the variant as much as possible. There are concerns high school sports could create opportunities for major outbreaks. When there's contact sports, there, there's always going to be this, this opportunity for that virus to pass from one person to another. Even though not all kids can get a shot yet, just getting the 16 and 17 year olds vaccinated is a big necessary step. If you look at our population, about 25% is under 18. So to get closer to that 80 to 85% we need for herd immunity, 16 and 17 year olds need to get vaccinated and more vaccines need to be approved for their use. They have to want to, to be part of the solution. They have to understand what these vaccines are, that, that they're safe. In talking with Public Health Madison and Dane County lately, they've told me that they've struggled to try to get some Pfizer to vaccinate those 16 and 17 year olds. A lot of them work in the restaurant industry, so a lot of those workers had to wait a while before Pfizer was available here at the Alliant Energy Center. But if you need a shot, get on all the pharmacy lists that you can and continue to check back on those websites to see if there are any available appointments.